Rolling, man. Reflex. What's good with your boat? We on the grind today, man. Trying to make myself a boss less than a month so I can chillax. I'm finna, I'm finna, finna put in a lot of grind, a lot of grind, man. Let's see, pressure. I always knew I'd come far, but since I was a little, what if I ride a in the sun. Yay. Let me play some play some yay real quick. Mm-hmm. I gotta play some uh I gotta play some high frequency music for a minute. So I can operate on it. Operate on a higher frequency. Mm-hmm.
Vibing out the vibe, I'm knocking out the art. Trying to see how I'm approach. Trying to see how I'm approach this hair. Um, don't know yet. Don't know. But I ain't gonna do no drippy milk on this one. I'm just gonna do a basic. Using the mouse? No, no. I'm using a uh, Wacom Cintiq tablet, digital art tablet. Jump about to be hard though. Let me find me some more. Uh, trying to figure out what mood I'm in for the music. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, Pablo, appreciate you, bro. That out came in handy. I swear. Oh boy, they were sending me some pictures I was so glad. But that out, I've been fixing every picture people send me. What's up, man? Sometimes you
how we gonna finesse this hair? So I use uh, another layer. I'm gonna figure it out. I always do. Messing up my damn shoes. I'll be done. I'll be done in a second. I don't think this one will be that challenging. So I always gotta make sure. There we go. Gotta make this uh Should I? Okay, okay. I see what I need to do. Since I already know we put a hair on another layer, 
I still want to close this off. So how you do close this off? I be making making life decisions in this in this room. So how we gonna do that? We're gonna come right here. we did that, we're going to come right above, and we're going to create a, a, a gray, a grayish, I righteously could have just made it black. thinking ahead of time huh? all right so now what I'm gonna do I got this color lock this color like this See what I'm doing. Alright, cool. Try to finish this picture in a good little time frame. You see? Oh, damn. I hate when I do that. Drawing on that layer. I do that pain, bro. Alright. Here we go. Already coming together, clear.
after we got the little base done, what we're going to do, go ahead and object, boom, click merge, blow it up, boom, Player, player. My volume off. I thought my volume was on. Nah, my volume on, bro. I just don't be talking for real. But I can start talking if y'all want to hear me. Hear me run. Zello. Little. Oh shit, I hate when that happens. Hello, Chi World. I became a big fan recently. Appreciate you, bro. I'm glad you did, bro. Appreciate you for your support, my brother. It's a, it's a blessing, bro, to be able to draw. Get closer to my goal, take being the ultimate provider and enjoying life. I'm using the tablet. Digital art tablet, my better. Let's see, uh object, expand canvas, merge. Coming out. All right, here we go. All right, let's get it, man. Time to start the coloring process. So let's go to. I've already got two world skin tones. We gonna start this picture out the right way. Let's get out the way of this color. Now I'm gonna go with this. Let's get out the way of this color. Let me start out. With, let me start out. With, no, that's too too dark. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna start out with this color. Tint it back, and we can always tweak it. Can always tweak the colors, man. Boom here. Let's lock all these lines like this. And um, keep these top two on lock. And, um,
Mm. Nothing but love for you, baby. Got nothing but love. So much love. I'm gonna watch that. And I'm probably gonna watch that. Maybe I listen to some songs. Started off down with other niggas. She know I fuck with them. I got a bag in this one in my hand. I put your girl and put her on the man. I got the Aston Martin listen up. Process, man. You gotta trust the process when you making that art. I should have put them glasses on that one there. Okay, cool. So you can still do that. Make make it happen, man. Brian don't stop. See me go back to save. Said okay. I'll make sure I record it too. I'm recording all this so we can uh Posted as regular video too. Brother Rose down with me. She know I big baby. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me now? If I start talking and y'all can't hear nothing I say. Say yeah in the comment section if you can hear me. So yeah, we hear you, bro.
type yes in the comments comment section if y'all can hear me talk oh yeah you hear me <laughs> we hear you bro it's low oh it is Let me adjust my mic then. I thought bro was being funny. He said, yeah. All right, what about now? Y'all hear me? Is it good now or too loud? Just let me know, man. Am I too loud, too low? Retype the question, bro, because I'm... It's hard, it's hard to focus on art and keep my head up looking at questions. You feel me? I wish I had an eye on my, my forehead so I can just use one to look at the comment section and then use one to draw. Cause I got a lot of orders, but I'm trying to knock all this junk out. I ain't gonna be like to you. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, somebody got a loud ass muffler outside. I hate when people have loud mufflers, but they cars don't be fast. Like, what's the point? Okay, came too late. Somebody said they came too late. Nah, you good, bro, because I'm finna be drawing a lot. I got I got a lot of orders, bro. I'm trying to make what I, uh, a, a year's salary in like a month, for real, be honest. So I'm, I'm gonna push myself so I can make some <clears throat> great investments and then I can fall back. I can slowly start falling back. So, if I keep this pace up and just stay, stay grounded, stay prayed up, make sure I make all the, the right decisions, everything going, everything going to be great. Financial freedom, that's the goal, that's the goal, that's the goal before my birthday, July the 3rd financial freedom for me and my little family so we ain't got to do nothing we don't want to do so anytime you see us doing anything it's because we want to do it so that's the, that's the goal we just gonna enjoy life It's already coming out fast. I'm so glad I decided to go ahead and start her hair off with being gray. So when I um add the little textures on top of it, it'll just flow smooth. You feel me? And I'm using my color palette, y'all. If y'all wondering, like, dang, how you get this stuff? Like, I'm using the color palette, so don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it, my brothers. YouTube be trying to play me too. They, they don't be trying to monetize my life. It's all good. I love YouTube. I can't even talk. I can't even talk crazy. YouTube did so much for your boy. Everybody having a, a good day though, man. Chasing your dream, going after whatever you want out of life. Mm. 
This way, like this, and this way, right here, this way, this way, and go this way. I'm trying to have this young female, man. But I was I, at the same time still keep my. I be pressuring myself. You know what I do now? Like when I be drawing, I look at the clock. I be like, okay, you you, you better be finished by da da da, because I don't want to spend too much time on one person. And then my goal is to finish uh, three pictures a day. So after this, this will be my third picture today. This will be the third. You feel me? But every time I um, just got some space during that the day, I'm going to knock out some more. to the uh, Egypt this summer, man. That's all I'm thinking about. I know that's going to be great. Go to Egypt with my family. My girl and my little man. And we just got to turn up. Do some crazy stuff. Create some dope memories. Great time, make it great time. And you feel me? Like I said, I be I be putting myself on the clock a lot of times because I know I can finish pictures faster. And if I put myself on the clock while I'm drawing, I won't just be wasting time. You know what I'm saying? Cause I used I used to be. I used to be so fast when it come to doing cartoons with people. But that's when I was goddamn focused. More focused. So just trying to get that more focused. That's what we doing. How much do I charge per art? Well, I charge a uh, hundred dollars for these cartoon heads y'all be seeing me draw. So if you want you a cartoon head just like this, where I just draw your face, that's a hundred dollars, man. It's a good little price. I just want it. At one time, 
y'all want some artwork did from your boy just hit me up I don't do nothing for free so please don't hit me up uh, don't hit me up begging for nothing cause if you do that I'ma just block you to <laughs> be for real or I'ma just beg you to pay my bills I'm like alright I'll do that for free but pay my bills for free so Boy gotta survive. I'm finna crank up though, I promise you. I'm finna turn into like a a whole nother bro. I don't know what kind of me. Gonna work smarter, not harder. That's the goal. Work smarter, not harder. I've been working, I've been working so hard for for nothing, and I could have been working so smart. So that's where I'm at now. Making things make sense. Treating work like work like it's not nothing special, cause it really ain't. I'm pretty sure I ain't gonna remember none of these pictures I drew like <laughs> next week. Cause it don't hold no emotional value to me. But I am gonna remember spending time with loved ones and stuff like that. So I'm just realizing a lot of stuff. So now I'm at, I'm at a great mindset of not being too attached to anything material, none of that. Just realizing it is what it is, man. Let's see, Tokens. I gotta find me a little brighter color. This picture coming out far though, I ain't gonna even lie. I hope they like it. But they every time I say that they like it anyway. Like I said, man, if y'all want a cartoon head from your boy, now is the time. Cause this month, to the end of next month, then I'm pretty sure I ain't gonna be going this hard. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be making some investments in the real world so I can do everything I told y'all about. Financial freedom, bro. And I know I got a full game plan. I feel like every time, every time I'm on the right path for doing something, things happen for me. But anytime, like, I think of something and it ain't meant to happen, I won't, it won't happen for me. Like, but every time I'm in the right path, like, I feel in sync. I feel like I fit right in the slot of life. But anytime I'm out of place, I like my puzzle piece don't fit. So that's how I feel about my entire life. So if I feel like anytime I feel like, okay, it ain't time or it ain't, it ain't time for me to be right here or this ain't going to work right now. So I got to go do, I just move out that feeling. I can't explain it. That's why it's good to, uh, be connected spiritually and just like i always put my little disclaimer out man i ain't perfect i ain't no i ain't no saint i ain't somebody who who don't sin or think i'm better than other people i know i'm, I'm a work in progress i make mistakes but i know i'm not my mistakes so but i'm i i pray i pray every day that i be better so but at the end of the day, I notice when I when I stay getting closer to God, like He guide me for real. Like He tell me like what what's the next move? Like like He whisper to me, kind of like like okay, this is what you need to do. 
or you need to move out of the way right now, or you need to do this, or do this a little more, and I'll just do it. I'll just go off a of feeling. So, just like art, bro. Just like if you notice when I draw, a lot of people be wondering, like, how you, how you shade like this, or how you. I, I never went to school for a certain technique. I just do whatever feels right, even within my art. If it feels right, that's what I do. And even if it might start out looking like it's right, I got like a sense that'll tell me like it's all gonna balance out. It's gonna, it's gonna be right. So all my pictures might start out looking like, like it ain't making sense. But I keep going because I know, like, I feel it like it's going to get right in a minute. So that's how I feel about my life as well. Like, you just got to get in tune, man. And I remember, I remember how confident I felt in not knowing when I was closer to God. So that's what I be doing every day. I pray. I pray for I uh, get my day started now. I used to just pray at night, you know what I'm saying, when I'm finna go to bed. But sometimes you gotta realize if you don't start your day out with prayer, you might have a hard time before you get to the bed, you feel me? So I start my day out with prayer. And I'm trying to get out of the habit of when everything go going good in my life, stop praying, because that's what I used to do a lot. I'm guilty. I'm very guilty of that. Like, pray to God, and then when everything go get perfect in my life, when finance is good, relationship good, and everything, I'm just not praying as hard as I was. But this time, shoot, bro. I already feel it. Like, I feel like my life is going in the direction it's supposed to be in right now. So, I'm praying now, and even when I'm where where I want to be. I'm where I want to be now. So let me go let me uh rephrase that cuz I know you got to be thankful where you at and understand if you're not you're not focused on the now. I used to be so focused on the future that I didn't know the now creates your future. I was so goddamn like I was so smart that I was so dumb. So I was so focused on the future forgetting that what you do now creates future so now I'm at a place of fully being aware and in the moment of now so my future can naturally turn into what I want it to be so that's one thing y'all need to keep in mind don't be so worried about the future where you lose sight on your now because what you do now is going to affect your future. You feel me? But yeah. But yeah, man. It's a lot, bro. It's a lot. It's a lot. And be careful. And be careful for what you got to ain't pray for, too. Because God is one of, one of the... <laughs> He's the realest, meaning anything you pray for, he gonna get it to you. But when we pray for things, like I always say, we only look at the highlights. We don't look at what come with that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody probably right now praying to be president, but they don't know the stress that's gonna come with that and all the other stuff. And but at the same time, when you ask God for it, and he give it to you. He going to put you through some things so you can be prepared for what you asked for. That's how it works. Because I know I used to pray like uh, the beginning of this year, what I used to pray a lot for, I was like, God, make me a better man. I want to be, be a better man. So I know. And then at the beginning of this year, I just feel like everything I was going through was just, just like overwhelming. Like it was just too much to handle. But then I recall me praying that night 
and those just consistent nights of saying that like God please make me a better man I just want to be a better man so understanding that shoot to be a better man you got to go through things like a man <laughs> like a man do so it's it's a process it's a process to uh with everything love your life don't wish to don't wish to have somebody else life man because it might be a facade bro like you might be thinking dang i wish i was living like you bro i wish i had your life the grass may look greener but that grass may not be real it might be turf it might you know what i'm saying it might be fake you know what i'm saying them flowers look amazing but they might be the fake flowers that never die, that ain't real. So sometimes we admire shit that ain't even real. And then we we lose sight on what we got. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just be thankful. You you gotta you gotta practice humbling yourself so God don't come humble you. <laughs> Like, <laughs> that's how, that's what I'm seeing it. Bro, when God humble you, bro, that's the, that's the she. I be want to say, lighten up. <laughs> Real talk. So, to keep that from happening, uh, shoot, just, man, to humble yourself. Just take, take, a, take a moment, take a step back, and then just think, Everything that you ain't valuing, revalue yourself. Like, re, re, revalue it. Like, reevaluate yourself. Like, for real. Because I'm telling you, God will sit back and watch you just for so long. Not appreciate what you got. And then he'll say, okay, I'm finna humble you real quick. I'm telling you, like. It's just like getting a whooping, bro. <laughs> I kid you not. I feel like when God convict you, it's the same as getting a whooping when you when you was a kid. The only difference is it seems like it lasts longer, like the punishment lasts a little longer. But the blessing, the blessing on the outside of that, I think the punishment lasts longer, so you know what not to do again, and you know what to appreciate. It really teach you how to appreciate things because I feel like um, I've been convicted. I truly been convicted by God, like for real. I don't even feel like the same person. And the reason I don't feel like the same person because I appreciate everything now. You know what I'm saying? And I just remember me being broke at my at my parents crib me being broke at my parents crib uh just wishing i had twenty dollars in my hand you know what i'm saying to go get a pizza or something like that and not knowing how to make money off my my craft and wishing i can do do something special for my girlfriend but the only thing i can give her is a a piece of paper with with art on it so I remember those days, and I'm th and I'm, now I'm just thankful for these days. Like, dang, I, I, sometimes you just gotta you gotta think about where you came from to appreciate where you at now. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate a lot of things. I feel like I feel like I got a lot of work to do on myself. But I, I see the progress. So, shit, I'm proud of myself, man. Came a long way. Not by myself. I'm proud of myself, but I came a long way not by myself. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of life, life experience. And I always think, like, even when you're going through hard times, 
it's somebody going through even harder times. So just be a, even be appreciate, be appreciative of that. Like you might be complaining about your hard times, but if God passed you your neighbor's hard times, you'll be like, damn, I just wish I had my hard times back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just learning how to be more thankful. And I noticed with me doing that and with me holding myself accountable of a lot of things, because at the end of the day, you can't hold nobody accountable for nothing they do because everyone have their own free will. The only person you can hold accountable is you. So with me starting to realize that, like I hold myself accountable a lot. I mean, not saying just I'm still a work in progress, so I, I might backslid from time to time, but I snap out of that. Because you got to think, once you spent your whole life learning how to be a certain way, change is hard. But as long as you stay not giving up, just like, just like art. That's why I relate everything to art, because pretty much my life is art. Like, as long as you don't give up, you're going to always get better. Like, I, I didn't start out the best, one of the best artists. I just stayed doing it every day. So just like my life, I'm not, I ain't gonna start out the best person in the world, but long as I work on me every day, just like my art, eventually I'll be a masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? So the most amazing thing about life, you can always improve until the day you die. And if God uh, sent his son to be sacrificed for our sins, that mean you can always be forgiven for whatever you do. And long as you breathe and you got another chance to make a difference and make things right. So never think, dang, I done did this so I did this so bad that I can never be forgiven for this. Like, nah, God'll forgive you. You just living by the ways of this world. Now the world probably ain't gonna forgive you. So you see how they treated Will Smith over a slap. So imagine if you did something <laughs> bigger than that. Like, so the world ain't gonna forgive you, but it's best to not live by the ways of the world because the world ain't gonna ain't gonna determine whether you make it to heaven or not. God is. So just trying to reteach yourself like truth over these lies we've been taught. You know what I'm saying? So long as you live in man, you always that means you got another chance to get better, to improve to work on your flaws, to work on your character, to, to be inspiration to somebody, to, to pass goodness down, you know what I'm saying? Do a good deed. A good deed can go a long way. You can help somebody across the street and they go talk about that to somebody and, and now they inspired to go help the next person. So small positives can turn into big positives. Just like small negatives can create bigger negatives, so just you know what I'm saying. Just keep going, man. Keep working on yourself. Keep trying to get better. As long as you trying, that's the goal. As long as you trying, you doing good. You up to something great. you trying never give up for real the fish came out my heart one thing I know about women when you join like uh, ladies and stuff like that try to make those uh, shadows softer and I don't try to put too much line work in their face. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't want to make you want to make you know how women like to look beautiful. So whether they're older women or younger women, so that's what I try to keep in mind. I don't put too much on their face to show too much flaws. 
that's just a tip for y'all for if y'all get clients of uh some ladies and stuff like that y'all won't be messing up like i used to i used to put all kinds of wrinkles on their face for real not trying to i was just big on trying to add a lot of detail Yeah, man, just like I said, bro, y'all, uh, as long as you trying to be better, bro, you going to be better. Thanks. And pray. That's the secret. People, people be talking about, man, the secret of life is just prayer, bro. I kid you not. God know how many pieces of hairs that's on your head. So it's crazy for you to think he don't know what your biggest dream is and what you want out of life. He know all your desires before you even had a brain to know what you desire. So with that said, like, and I always forget, it's funny, sometimes I forget that in prayer because I be asking for, like sometimes it's, it be, uh i pray about i just pray for like uh just thanking him i i be like thank you god just i appreciate you you were you worthy of all praise god I, I do that a lot like i probably i probably sit in the closet for like a good 15 minutes just doing that just just thanking him but then sometimes when i <laughs> When I get in my personal bag, I be praying for things I want. But but then I, I remind myself, like, yeah, God know what I want. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he know the day you're going to die. So he, he know how you're going to die. And he know the day you're going to be born. And he know the day you're going to achieve your biggest uh, goal. And he know what you finna say before you say it. Even though we got free will, but he's all knowing, like, it ain't nothing he don't know. So with that said, like, he know the day you gonna find him. Like, it's crazy as you think about it. So basically, God is the ultimate artist. He created the, the world, the people that's on it. He created the names of what this gonna be, what this plant gonna look like. When the sun go down, what it's gonna like? He, he paid attention to so much detail that everything he created, it it intertwines with the next thing he created, and it all makes sense. So there's nothing that's created by God that didn't make sense or didn't have purpose that will match up with the next thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, God is the ultimate artist. So the same way. I'm drawing a picture. It's dope, but this picture can't come to life. This picture can't create more life. So God designed a person technically from clay and we all made from dirt. So he created a person like like molded, like like an artist would. And it can't like, you know, like dog, if you just think, if you really think about it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy, but then when you think about it, in a sense, it's not. Because God is God, so there's nothing that's just out of the ordinary for God. It's just, he created it all, so I won't be shocked whatever he do. Because I already know, like, yeah, you created everything, so I already know you can do the impossible, the never seen. That's why they say, man, you build a you build a strong relationship with God, bro. You can't lose. How can you lose when the when the when the when the person that's on your team is the creator of everything? 
that's like playing a sport and your daddy the coach. Like, you know you're going to play whether you sorry or not. <laughs> you know you're going to get a chance. <laughs> that's how God is. Like, if you got him on your team, like, who can be against you? So that's why I say when I jump in here sometime and I be talking, I be trying to give y'all the game so y'all can catch on way quicker than quicker than I did. Cause I'm I'm 31 years old. If somebody was really preaching this to me in a way I can digest it, other than just listen to it and be like, dang, bro, I ain't trying to hear all that preaching. You know what I'm saying? Cause I guess a lot of people don't want to hear it when you so when everybody's so. Everybody that preach do it a certain way, like uh, <laughs> I said, but hey, like it's just it's too much acting, you know what I'm saying, and that that give it a bad name. But when you just, I guess that's why God say come as you are, because if you being yourself and you talking about what you believe in, it's more, I don't know, it's more tasteful. I feel like when people go from uh, some some people when they really try to be religious and stuff like that, they 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 voice change or they say, they gotta say certain words a certain way or act a certain way and really get to be yourself. So that's all I'm doing. Since y'all like to learn art from me. And all my little tips and tricks, and I like to try to share every secret I got. Because I know when it's my last day on this earth, if I die with my knowledge, it'll be pointless. Not saying everything I say is correct, or not saying I know it all. But what I do know, if I just keep running my mouth, somebody can take something I said and prosper from it. And then they can pass something down. So that's that's what I want to do. Knowing life is a gift and not knowing to, tomorrow I ain't promised. I want to share as much as I can from art to thoughts to feelings to ideas. I don't I don't want to I don't want my thoughts to die with me one day. I just want everything to be documented. And I hope I document more positive messages than anything. And I hope everything I say, it has nothing to do with me. I hope it leads y'all back to, to who I'm talking about. I hope it leads you back to God. And I hope I inspire one of y'all or 30 of y'all to want to get to know God in your own way. You know what I'm saying? In Jesus' name, that's what I hope. So, cause like I said, like I used to have a mindset of wanting to be famous and wanting to be all this stuff, bro. To be honest with you, I want to be low key as possible. So, I kid you not. After I get, after I get uh financially great where I can just take care of my family and we can just enjoy life, bro. I'm I'm retiring. <laughs> and I'm going to monetize all this stuff I done did because I done did a lot of stuff. If y'all look back, bro, I done did over a thousand YouTube videos. Well over a thousand. So with that said, like, that's that's my goal. I want to monetize everything I did. So what I already did is you know, Take care of my family. Then after that, I'm chilling. I'm going to enjoy life, bro. I probably learn how to be a UFC fighter or something. Just go do some crazy stuff. Turn. I want my life to be a bucket list. I mean that to the fullest. I want every day to be like you don't know what he gonna do next. That was just out living with with my family so my family get to to experience that and then when i'm gone they get to share that that same vibe with they kids kids like dang this is my daddy my daddy used to take us everywhere he used to do this he used to do that he, and then they get to pass that energy on because what i realized like when you truly honor somebody 
when they when they done pass, you pick up you pick up their great qualities and you make sure the great qualities about that person you honor don't die. So that's how people stay alive forever. Their qualities, their qualities live through you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I got I got a whole game plan, and I feel like slowly, like my my life is like like I feel like God is in my ear saying like, okay, now you talking, now I'm finna. <laughs> I'm gonna put things in place for you. Cause our kids are not things is things is happening now. I guess cause he know like like I, I'm in the right mindset. So when he make it happen for me, I won't mess it up. So sometimes God help you for not by not giving you what you want so fast. Cause he know if I give you this now, you ain't even ready for what you say you want. You don't even know that. But since I know you want it so bad. I'm going to hold off and prepare you for what I'm going to give you. That's how God works, bro. I'm telling you. He like he like your friend. He's your best friend for real. But God is the type of person that ain't going to, he ain't going to force himself to be your friend. He's going to say, in, 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 in worldly terms, God will be like, if you don't want to fuck with me, bro, you ain't got to. <laughs> that's, that's on you. God, like, I ain't going to force you to be my friend, bro. You can do whatever you want to. But just know, with my car, I'm going I'm to leave my car with you. So whenever you realize <laughs> I'm the realest friend you can ever have, give me a call. That's how God works. He ain't going to interfere with your free will. You got to invite him in. A lot of times we blame things on God and it don't have nothing to do with God. God like, how you blaming me and I gave you freedom, bro? That's, I ain't do that to you. That's what the world do. That's what the world doing now. You can come under my protection, but sometimes we be wanting protection from God and we ain't even got dang friends with God. <laughs> it's deep. But at the same time, it ain't. It's just people try to explain things deeper than what it is when it's so simple. You know what I'm saying? So, the secret of life, bro, build your relationship with God. And trust me, if you don't, you're going to realize it's going to be one day. One day you're going to go through something so dramatic where you're going to be forced not by him. You're going to be forced by your tongue. You're going to cry out. You're going to be like, hey, God, I need you, bro. <laughs> like, I don't care if you're an atheist. Trust me. One day you're you going to need him. And he's going to show up right on time. Not on your time. He's going to show up right on time. Because you don't even know what right on time is. God don't show up on your time. He show up right on time. Because if you know what on time was, you wouldn't need them because you would know it all already. So That's the secret to life, bro. Build your relationship with God. That's my secret. I start off every morning with prayer. And I try to I try to uh, control my temple. Your temple is your mind. That's one thing you can't escape. You can got to trade your body. You can uh, get your face swapped. You can do all that. You can't trade your mind. You can't leave your, your mind. You're going to always be the only thing that's inside of your mind unless you're getting controlled by a demon or something. But your temple, if you master your thoughts and you master working, working your mind on a high frequency, the highest frequency on this earth is love. Love is God. So if the highest frequency is love, if you practice and 
try to learn love, you will master everything in life. Because the same way we teach ourselves to be doubtful, fearful, afraid, and just everything that's negative on a low frequency, that's the same way we can reteach ourselves how to only think positive, always be happy, um, no bad days. Yeah. So that's the goal. That's my life goal, too. Cherish every day. For real. Because even on your worst days, you, you should just be happy that it ain't your last day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thankful just to wake up to say I had a bad day. Some people don't get to wake up. To, you know what I'm saying? Or if somebody could swap, swap positions with you that's dead, on your worstest day, that would be their happiest day. That somebody that's already dead could swap a day with you, the, the days that you say, oh, this was a terrible day, I don't want this day, they will be so grateful to have that. <laughs> so that's why I said, there's no such thing as a bad day. It's only bad thoughts. So once we master our mind, you can literally like be invincible to whatever, whatever transpires. And that's one thing I, I pray about too, like learning how to, learning how to just, I'm telling you, be a, be a better man. That's my goal. Because if I become a better man, everything around me going to be better because I feel better about myself. Everything going to be better. Like the, the energy when I walk in a room going to change because people already know it's just, it's an aura. And it ain't even my aura. It's it's an aura that I'm I'm borrowing from God, <laughs> for real. So yeah, I think I gave y'all enough game for the for the day. My true thoughts, true feelings. So yeah, be y'all. Be y'all y'all own personal relationship with the king, man. In Jesus' name I pray. I pray all y'all find God. I pray he help you through anything you you going through or you ain't going through. I just pray he just times ten your blessings. Shoot, I pray everybody make it to the promised land, for real. And what's so crazy, the promised land is on earth, bro. Like, it's just going to be like, <laughs> we already living where the promised land going to be. It's just going to be revamped. Like, everything going to be, like, next level. It's just going to be like, a, a big the world gonna be one big country club like it's just gonna mansions everywhere gold gold roads you ain't gonna have them messed up potholes it's gonna be lit bro and hell gonna be like summertime stuck in traffic <laughs> that shit gonna <laughs> that shit gonna be crazy I dang so can't go to hell bro cause I can't even handle hot shower, but so hell ain't for me, bro. I don't even like hot water hit my back. I can't go to hell. So anytime I'm in my darkest place, I think about, hold on now. <laughs> we ain't going to hell. <laughs> Real talk. That shit make you snap out of anything. I'm like, nah, no, I ain't going to hell. I ain't gonna do, I ain't messing up my chances. Got me, got me messed up. For real. I 
I don't know what's wrong with my audio, bro. Y'all give me a week though, I'll fix it. I'm a I'm a upgrade. I'm gonna get me like a uh a podcast little little microphone. For real. Might start a look. This might be like my my new little thing though, like drawing for y'all and got dang talking about talking about God, bro. Just hoping it lead lead y'all to a lot of people. What's so crazy? A lot of people don't believe in God because I guess in this in this world they try to make it seem like it ain't the cool thing to do. Where in reality, anything that's beneficial, they make it seem like it ain't cool to do. Like, it ain't cool to eat vegetables and stuff like that. But it's cool to go get you, like, some fast food and uh, drink sodas and give yourself cancer over time. So, anything that's good for you is going to be advertised as, as lame. Like, they used to make us believe... You lame for not skipping school. But in reality, you dumb for skipping school. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Everything that's meant to help you is going to be advertised like it's, it's, it's hurting you. That's why people find a million reasons not to believe in God, but won't find one reason not to believe in like the system or the government. or They won't find no reason. To not believe in racism and uh, the dividing, and they won't find no nobody making excuses to not believe in them things. But they they uh, break it down in a science form how God ain't real. But they don't break down in a science form how hating your neighbor is not real. We all human at the end of the day, and and on Judgment Day, it ain't gonna be no, no, no. Show your ID, and if you, if you're this race, you need to stand in that line. If you're that race, you gotta go. Now nah, everybody gonna be in a single file line, getting judged for the wrongs they did. You feel me? So everything you thought. You, you wasn't holding yourself accountable for, we all gonna get held accountable on judgment day. So even if you, you make it through this world not having to own up to anything on judgment day, shit, we gonna own up to everything. And since I know that, that's why I, I ask for forgiveness every day. And I'm trying to be a better person at the same time. So on judgment day, I could be chilling in the line and I be like, yeah, I know I'm good because <laughs> I repent before I got up to <laughs> for real. I'm gonna I'm get baptized this summer too. I ain't playing. Real talk. Man, I'm gonna set myself up for the W, bro. I was like, I don't even, I don't even feel like the same person. Don't get me wrong, I still be. I still be got dang. I'm not perfect. I still be backsliding sometimes, but I feel like I'm better than I, I used to be. And I'm still growing as a person. So speaking of this pistol that came out fire. I know y'all see it. I know y'all see the hell though. How I draw smooth hair like that. Bruh, it's a gradient tool. You gotta use the gradient tool. And you see this line I just made? On each side of the line. Damn, I messed up. On each side of the line of the gradient tool, you gotta drop the opacity down to zero. And then just put the color you want in the center of the line. And it'll give you that effect. You feel me? Yeah, I'm using a graphic tablet too. I'm using a uh, Cintiq. I 
know that we've been deep in we've been deep in our little lives lately, man. I ain't gonna lie, I like I like talking to y'all. Um, running my mouth. I dang sure like to talk. So the boy can talk for days. Please give me a graphics tablet, bro. When I get, hey, <clears throat> when I retire, when I start making them, them big boy books. I make sure I give a lot of you some graphic tablets and stuff like that. I'm gonna give my tablet away too when I retire. Somebody can be like, man, I I, I own the tablet he used to to get here. Make somebody make somebody day. You feel me? But yeah, man, that's the secret. If you was wondering what the secret is, I'm still I'm still figuring out the secret. Feel me. finished too I know it's so crazy as soon as I finish this guy picture like not this client right here I finished the guy picture and he bought two more as soon as I signed him, him his picture so that's a good thing I'm trying, I got but like I told y'all, y'all already know what I'm trying to accomplish in a month. And I think I can do it because I'm on the right path, bro. <clears throat> Before my birthday, your boy going to be financially free to do what he please. I got a website coming soon too, so you guys that just love my art, you'll be able to buy my, my work and um hang it up on your wall for real. My friend, I got a friend named uh Young Lee, he gonna work on work on my website for me. Very talented dude from Toronto. Got blessings coming, man. Damn, it just came out, player. <clears throat> Hope everybody like what they see, and I just. I had a deadline to I was trying I was trying to get finished around this time too and I and I, I I'm right on time bro. That's so dope. I told myself, man, let me go and finish this picture this order. So tomorrow when I pick back up, your boy gonna be got dang. Let me finish a couple more. I got finish them early. I should be finished with all my orders by like a one o'clock tomorrow. Way before one o'clock. What I'm talking about. Like I said, if anybody wanna buy a cartoon head, now is the time while me grind of it. Trust me. Now is the time. All you got to do is email me. <clears throat> Cartoon heads, like what I did right here. This is $100, bro. Nothing more, nothing less. Click, like, if you, you want me to add your name at the top or put a crown on your head or something like that, it's going to be more than $100. Let 
You feel me? But if you just want me to draw exactly how you took the photo, yeah, that's a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be able to then you'll be able to see me draw it live, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be live when I draw it. Super duper. All right. A lot of fun creating this picture. Thank y'all for watching your boy too, man. Listening. I hope I gave y'all some some um some good words. Yeah, if you put a crown on your head, <laughs> yeah, you can do that, bro. If you take a picture with a crown already on your head, yeah, I'll do that. But now if you just want me to got dang, create a makeover crown, I'm going to charge you extra. But I'm going to count it as a hat if you already just took the picture like that. So, yeah, that's smart. This is so cool. <laughs> exactly, bro. I wonder where you gonna find a crown from though. I bet you already got you already got one waiting. Yeah, send it, bro. I'm trying to grind. I got plans, bro. I got some big boy plans, like. I know exactly what I'm investing in. I know like I just see it. I know exactly I got everything mapped out in my head, how everything gonna fall, fall in place, and how everything gonna work. And just like I said, every time I got a clear idea of what work, it just fall in my lap. Let's do it. So by, by my birthday, I should be should be a whole new, I'm already transforming. I think I'm in uh I'm in KO Ken mode. I should be full Super Saiyan by July. On my birthday, I'm gonna have me a nice, a nice little soup. A big old little bottle of wine. And it's just gonna be celebrating the new beginning of a whole new chapter like like as far as my my career go I'm gonna be able to just kick back kick it with my family and god dang just celebrate life for real like every day I wake up it's gonna be like okay God gave me another day to live I'm finna go turn up gotta go find something to do Cause I've been doing this, I've been doing this way too long. I love it, don't get me wrong. I love art, I'm gonna do art today I die. It's just gonna be, it ain't gonna be this way no more though. It's gonna be for the love of it again. I'm gonna learn how, to, I'm gonna really love what I do. I mean, I love what I do, but it's a difference when I was just drawing in my hood with no money and I was just really, free to create and I think I was an amazing artist then but I know you uh when it when it becomes a job you 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 lose that passion and those those creative ideas you had when you had the free time to even make a creative idea so I'm a, in the future I'm only going to draw when inspiration hit me like I did when I was younger. Like, dang, I gotta, I gotta go buy some paper. I just thought of this amazing idea. So that's when, that's when I really want to create when it's a feeling. So that's the goal. For July, 
July 3rd hit, July my birthday. Um, have all everything in place. Have my website up where people can just purchase all the all the work I did over the years. Be able to hang it up, put it on your t-shirt and all that good stuff. People be able to purchase my brushes that everybody asks for. It. It'll all it'll just be a Chi World one one stop shop. And then gotta pass the torch to one of y'all. One of y'all next comer comer uppers. That's going to take over the digital art game, man. Because I'm going back to the real world, bruh. And do paint canvases, all that. I like paint on paper better anyway, for real. But I love this. Don't get me wrong. I want to keep keep that in mind, God. I appreciate everything. <laughs> I appreciate everything you gave me, bro. For real, I appreciate everything. Got to take everything from you, like, quick. I appreciate everything. I'm happy with where I'm at in life right now. I'm thankful. And I don't want to rush to where I'm going to be. I just want to be in the moment right now. I'm happy with where I'm at right now. And I'm going to take advantage of where I'm at right now and be thankful. And that's, how, that's, that's the secret, y'all. But, hey. Let me put me a background on this real quick so I can send this picture to this client. I know they're going to rock with it. I had fun making it. Had a lot of fun. Wait, wait. Should I put like a tan? A tan behind the hair? Yeah. Other thing too, man. But like I said, appreciate you guys. For all the love and support y'all showed over the years that y'all showed to this day. I want y'all to know y'all played a big part in me getting to where I'm at in life where I can provide and do a little something for my family. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for, for watching my videos. Uh, buying art, all that stuff, man. Because if it weren't for you guys, like, I wouldn't be able to do none of this, bro. I'd be able to draw, but I just wouldn't be able to make a living off of it. So I appreciate, I appreciate all you guys. And I just want y'all to know, all you guys played a big part in my life story. So you should, if you, if you a fan of me or you like, you know what I'm saying, look up to me, just know... <clears throat> In a sense, y'all y'all became a part of me because y'all really helped me put food on the table and helped me help put food on the table. So y'all y'all my blessing at the same time. So thank y'all, man. So if you ever wonder what can we do for you, you already done did it, bro. So I don't need nothing more. I appreciate y'all. The support was good enough. Yeah. But we got this thing, y'all. Peace.